92.3 Amp Radio. Wagwan, Sean the Ball in the house. What's up? How are you? I'm good. I like the accent. Wagwan. Yeah. I've been to Jamaica only once, so... Well, you some enough rubbed off on you. You get a little nice a, accent going on. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. So, welcome back. Thank you. I mean, you kind of took a little bit of a hiatus. Mm, from your eyes, maybe, and your ears. Yeah. But I've been doing work, and um, now come back with a stronger... Um, promotion for us and yeah nice well we're <laughs> so excited for that um you've been in the game for a while since what about 2002 yeah, yeah. long long time um we have to go back take it back a little bit to some of your older songs which everyone is so familiar with because obviously we've all been bumping and grinding to them in the clubs yes ma'am and i'm not just talking about myself either <laughs> uh give me the light amazing yeah. still hot get busy question about that song who are those girls you were talking about annabella jody and rabaka uh, well, Kana and Jody are real people, and they said to me, you going to studio? I said, yeah, put my name in the song, and I said, okay, and, I, <laughs> and the rest of them just rhymed with it. <laughs> Looking for the rhymes. Yeah. Light Glue, another hot one. Uh, give it up to me with Keisha Cole. You still mm -hmm. talking to her at all? I haven't spoken to her in a minute, but I uh, love her, love the collab, and it's been dope. I'm still in love with <laughs> you, Sasha. Sasha. Big yep. up. Yep. Now, Baby Boy with Beyonce. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. I actually have a question about that. It's something that's been irking me for a while. I don't know if it was a rumor or if it wasn't. But is it true that when you shot the video, you couldn't shoot the video with her there because Jay was jealous? That's something I had heard. I, I, yeah, it, it, it's, it's a weird rumor. But uh, we didn't shoot it together um, simply being because it was like a concept of the, the dude, the, the, what's his name? The director? Okay. So yeah, he he wanted to be me to be the dream world, do, and so not be in the same. See, we were in the same place, just not didn't do scenes together. So it's not that you guys had some sort of issue where he was like, I don't want you around my girl. Well, I know I was going I was going to teach her some good dances and stuff, and so <laughs> maybe that was an issue. Maybe she didn't want to be seen in that light at that point. So I don't know, but 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 yeah. Yeah. I always had to clear that up. I'm so glad you're here for me to find that out, too. Uh, can't forget Temperature, another major hit, yes, which everybody is still playing. Um, what is the right temperature to shelter you from the storm? Well, it, it's whatever your mood is, you know what I mean? You could be a hothead, or it could be, like, a, a cool and easy. Oh, okay, so, so it's not, so like, body temperature. It's not like you're going to keep me warm because it's cold outside right now? It's really more emotional and sexual and that kind of temperature. Uh, Okay. I don't know if anybody knows how to measure that, but I, I, I found a way, and, you know. And you're not going to give us that secret? I, I don't give it up that easy. Give it up to me. <laughs> 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 All right. Now, we're going to fast forward to some of your most recent hits. Yeah, that's what I did there. Yeah, uh, I did. Make My Love Go with Jay Sean, one of my faves. Thank you. Amazing. We were playing it here at AMP. Yeah, uh, uh, big, big up to Maxi Priest. It was his original song. Uh-huh. And um, Jay Sean did a, a, a great uh, rendition and modernization of it, uh, dancehallization, I should say. Uh-huh. And, um, and, and put us on it. Big up to Don Carleone, the producer. Yeah. You guys still boys? You guys still yeah. hang out? Yeah. Yeah. Straight. Nice. Uh, Cheap Thrills with Sia. Yes, ma'am. Uh, how did you two link up? You know what? I've never met her. She sent me some awesome flowers and a big thank you note because it's the first number one she's ever had, which I was amazed by. I, I thought she's she's definitely a number one caliber artist. Mm -hmm. But uh, um, and I'm a big fan of her. My niece is a fan of her. My mom's a fan of her. Like she got a lot of uh, different demographics. Um, simple being, she she just got a, a dope voice, an amazing voice, and she writes amazing too. So. Um, you know, being a fan of her is pretty easy. She doesn't disappoint. Only in that sometimes people want to see her face. Right. But I think that's dope. I just think that's crazy that um, in this day and age with all the Instagram and Twitter that she's able to do that. Yes. Because at first, you know, I in the 90s, uh, when I was, like, developing my whole act, I thought I would be somebody like that where it's just like, I'm not going to, I'm going to do just the songs I put out there and people are going to be like, who is that? Who is that? Because ah. that was the era where videos were very important. And mm -hmm. I thought, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make, and then have some big reveal one day. <laughs> right? <laughs> so it didn't, it didn't happen that way for me. For obvious reasons, it was nuts to everybody. People were like, you, you're not, you have to show your face. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you can't hide your face. Exactly. But she's doing it now and she's on the top of the music game. Yeah, so, she's killing. So yeah, I, I was going to say, you know, have you had a chance to see her face? But I guess you're like the rest of us. In pictures from, from <laughs> pictures, whenever yes. that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but not in person. No. 
Maybe one of these days. But you know what? I always, it was always upsetting to me as an artist. Not upsetting, but it just gets me. Like, uh, people are like, oh, yo, I miss your braids. Where are your braids? Yes. That was your signature. I was just about to bring like, that up. I'm like, nah, like, that, my signature, I would hope, would be my voice and my tone. But for me, it's her, and I love her for that. And that's it. That is her voice. It is. It yeah. is. And the that's braids are, are not signature. People, you know, associate you with the braids. Yeah. But it's the voice, for sure. Yeah, exactly. It's so, like, so. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's like so, the thing, so yeah, we, that, that's a That accent needs a lick of work, but. Yeah. I know it. Well, then do it for me. A joke. Do it for me. What, Shanapal? Shanapal. I didn't do it in the right way. All right, though. do it the right way. Shanapal. 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 <laughs> you. You got to put the roll on it, you know? <laughs> well, now we're playing the new song um, with Clean Bandit that you did, Rockabye. Yeah. Uh, how did you guys collab together? I mean, they're from overseas. It's like, how did you guys meet up? I know they do a lot of string stuff and everything. It's so yeah. different than like your normal sound. Yeah, they they are, um, it, it, you know, th listening to hits they've produced before and then like listening to this, you're like, what? They did it? It's the same feeling I had. Um, I met them four years ago. In a show in England that I had, they came backstage, they said, we're fans. They didn't have music out at the time, really. Mm -hmm. And I was like, all right, cool. And then they just started to pop off with, and I'm like, those are the same people? That's crazy, because they have a vibe to me. Like, I don't want to I don't wanna diss anybody who loves the Beatles, but they, <laughs> like a nerdy vibe. Like, cause, like, I love the Beatles, right? My yes. mom grew me up on that, but, but it's like... Just looking at them, you don't think they can rock out like that. Right. You know what I mean? For when sure. When you see them, especially in how they're presented with the tie and the, the haircut and whatnot, yep. and it's just, it just it didn't seem like they could rock out. So with these dudes, it's the same way. Um, it, I, I was like, these dudes are really going to make a rhythm for me. And what it was was that I was going to do um, some production for my own album. Mm -hmm. And then they, they were just like, uh, can you hit this song up for us? Uh, so we did two other songs, um, which are amazing, and um, the groups are crazy. Like I, the the, the way they direct the videos, the, like they, the, if you've seen the video, there's like about five old dudes singing like with gray beards <laughs> singing my lyrics, which has always been, old dudes with gray beards have never sung out my lyrics before. <laughs> yeah, that's, How does that make you feel? Yeah, that's, that's pretty dope. <laughs> I I think that's uh, you know for them to be able to learn the pato and thing and. Like even mimic it, it was it was wicked, and that whole innovative kind of thought of how they wanted to shoot the video came from them. They're just wicked creatively, nice nice group. Crazy Obviously, group. their accents are way better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, um, I don't know. I, I don't, they were just. I mean, I think you got the accent thing down. You accent good. thing. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Where are you from, by the way? I'm from here, New York, born yeah. and raised. Yeah, yeah. Woo. Woo, woo, woo. NYC. <laughs> My. Now, just heard that new one you did with Tory Lanez. First, we're going to take it yeah. back to his song Love, which you jumped on and did a remix. Yeah, yeah. Is that what got you to do this new song with him? Yeah, I mean, you, they, he did a, 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 a remake of a, a great Jamaican dance hall hit, Big Up to Tanta and Devante. Um, oh, they were so awesome yeah. back in the day. Yeah, and Tony yes. Kelly, he's the one who, who produced that first rhythm. and um, So it's a classic. And um, when I heard it, I was like, wow, that's amazing. And then I just got a call from a brethren, Benny Blanco, who was involved in the production of it. And he's like, yo, I want you to hit up the remix. So I was like, wicked. And um, <laughs> I, I just felt it from the beginning. And I was like, you know, there's some projects that you might hear as an artist or a producer. And you're like, damn, I wish I did that. I wish I, was, I, wish I had the idea to do it. And when it comes and falls back in your lap, you're like, all right, <laughs> nice. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, so so I did it, and then I had this other song which I was um, uh, basically kind of I, I didn't like the hook that I did, and I was trying to find a different hook. And I said maybe he, you know Tori would sound dope in it, so I sent it to them asking them to to you know repay the favor, and they sent it back. So uh, it was a uh, most of my collabs have been natural, even though I've done so much, mm -hmm. it's been natural collabs like you know. Uh, Sometimes it's like management reaches out, but but honestly, I mean, I have to give thanks for a lot to them over the years. Has just been, yo, you're dope, you're dope. Oh, let's do a song. All right, cool. And then two twos, there's an email or flights being arranged for us to get together and, and work. So that's amazing. Yeah, absolutely. So now, can you? Because I'm gonna be really bad at pronouncing the name of the song, but can you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can, <laughs> a lot of people. I'll try, and then you can make people. fun of me. <laughs> 
Tech with your heart. <laughs> <laughs> the, all right, just the accent on the heart, but I mean, it's, it is what it is. It said it. You said it. Tech with your heart. Tech with your. No, is it? No, tech meaning. Take. Take. Ah, see, I oh, was thinking thought, talk or think. Oh, with your heart. Oh, yes. Nah. Nah, wow, that's a that's crazy. What, um, for 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 what the translation is, it's just take. It, it means take. So I'm like take take away your heart. I'm gonna make you fall in love with me. Basically. Oh, I'm glad we cleared that up. <laughs> we've been going on the air talking about something completely wrong. <laughs> well, thank you for but, that one. <laughs> you know, it, it, with patois, it, it's just little subtleties of words that change, mm -hmm. and so it might sound like a totally different thing to you. But yeah, honestly, I was just tired of saying naming songs "Love" and "Love You" and so yeah, "Take Away Your Heart." Mean I, I, I'm gonna make you love me. But everything yeah. about your songs is always love, yeah, sensual, yeah, sexual, yeah, my, girls. You know, I, must I have think, been that Playboy era back in the day. Not only Playboy era, it's just it's just uh, when I hear rhythm, sometimes I think a lady's dancing. It's the first thing I, I'm like, I, when I hear the rhythm, I'm like, ladies can't dance to that. They can't bounce it, you know, or they, or yo, ladies is gonna. So that's that's where it comes from, and a lot of the time when I freestyle is like that. So yeah. Well, that is awesome. I'm so glad we totally cleared that up. Uh, and new song, no yes, lie. Yes, ma'am. With Dua. Dua Lipa. Yes, congratulations. Thank you. Isn't that coming out like today? Yes, ma'am. It's, it's dropping today. It's called No Lie. Um, produced by Serm Style, a kid from Liverpool, England. Mm -hmm. Uh, but when I heard the rhythm, I was like, damn, that that's dance out to me. Now, she's pretty new in the game. How did you guys link up? Do I, uh, that, that was um, through, you know, I had done the song and done a demo. And then we had pinpointed different artists who people, you know, have attention right now. Like, you know, and um, I just liked her tone the most. And and her lips, they're pretty nice. Oh, her lips. <laughs> and, <laughs> you are and, not getting away from the sexual things here. <laughs> nah, she got long, beautiful hair. She's an amazing woman. And so uh, when, um, you know, I've done songs with people who are very famous. I've done songs with people who... Or like up and coming, right? Yeah, yeah. Like Alexis Jordan with a song, Got to Love You. Mm -hmm. And, um, <laughs> and uh, you know, she, she wasn't really... Uh, a, you know, a name to so to speak of in the business. She just sounded good and looked good to me, so I did it. Um, same with Sasha. In international circles, she wasn't. You know, I mean, she, no one knew her name, mm -hmm. um, and so I, I didn't. When at first people were saying maybe we should get a big name on it, I was like, you know, I've had success with this album. There's been four singles. This is the fifth one. Let me give some shine to to Sasha. She's she sang it perfectly. Yeah, you know, that's so, awesome. And you lo you put a lot of people on you know on the map just from bringing them on when they're. Well, now we do a lipa. She's she got she on the map already. So, <laughs> but but yeah yeah, um, it was a dope collab in terms of um, having her hit it exactly how we we thought it would sound good, and um, I hope the fans like it. I'm sure they will. Anything <laughs> that you seem to drop is always fire. Yeah, I can't I, say I that try. you've ever really had a stiff. You know? Maybe you don't know me long enough. I have Since stiffs 2002. all the time. Yeah, but not I'm any... being rude. Sorry, I'm just kidding. <laughs> of course. <laughs> the sexual coming out. <laughs> yeah, I get God. It must but... be the lips, right? <laughs> sorry. I, I'm, I'm, I'm rude. I tend to do that. <laughs> but yeah. Um, sorry. I'm rude. I can, I can come right back at you. Don't Wait, worry. No, but for sure, there's like a thousand songs sometimes. And then, and you know, some like five of them pop off. Right. And so people are like, oh, those, your five songs are my, and I'm like, I got a thousand. Of course, well, always. So, but yeah, there's so, the but, ones that just, you know, have that it. Yeah, but there's some, there's, you know, every time I go in the studio, I'm like, that's it. I'm sure. Of course. But you know, it, it, uh, the, the the voice of the people is the voice of God, and, and who who likes it, it shows. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, give thanks to, to everybody who, from the beginning, just uh, give me the chance to be heard and, uh, and in studio and then put out the stuff. Uh, we believe in the work uh, greatly. I believe all of them should be heard and, and all of that. But, I mean, it's up to the people and the public, so I thank them for choosing. So with all these thousands of songs you have, any uh, new albums in the work? Yes, ma'am. Um, next year, you know, we're dropping these two singles today, the one with Tori and the one with Dua Lipa. Simple being because I, I got different demographics that like just log on to me, mm -hmm. and, and they just show great. me love. Yeah, that's amazing. They show me love, like 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 we see uh, like even age groups. You know, mm -hmm. what I mean, I got young fans, and they're just like every time I hear your voice, even my niece, she's like, she <laughs> she does How old her is thing. She? She's four. Oh, cute. So when she hears it though, and she she doing her thing, and so um, 
I've been fortunate that way and and just have to appreciate that, you know? Yeah. Well, um, I know you like to do a lot of collabs with people. Like you said, some of them are just organic. Some of them are connected. Yeah. Are there any that you would like to collab with that you haven't yet? I could speak of, I you know, every time people ask me that question, because I do a lot of collabs, so people do ask me that. Mm -hmm. And um, and whether it be an artist or a DJ, because I know you like to collab with DJs too at times. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but but uh, in this next collab I'm going to tell you about, a dream came true for the two. Um, I've always wanted to work with this DJ, and he produced this song with this artist I've always wanted to work with, David Guetta and Shakira. Very cool. So yeah, uh, very very cool. I, I've always wanted to work with her, and we've been popular about the same times in terms of music. And mm -hmm. um, you know, I think she's an amazing talent. Her voice is unique. She dance crazy sexy. Um, so then, when when this happened, she just immediately called me and was like, "I'm learning those dances, bro." <laughs> You can't stop me from doing them dance all dances. So, dude, her moves I'm, are insane. And I'm looking forward to her spin on what we do in the video when when, when we do it. But that that's gonna happen next year. Very cool. So, so I do have like the whole album coming on stream for next year, but with different little projects and different little um, um, you know singles. That one being a dream come true and and, and a bigger one to kind of to kind of look forward to next year. I love Shakira. Oh, so amazing. Um, well, we have to talk about how you had called a couple of artists out on their dance hall. <laughs> like, <laughs> their, how can I put it? Their, their fake dance hall? Their dance hallization <laughs> of, of their music. Um, like but, yeah. Drake, Kanye, Bieber, Major Lazer. If given the opportunity to collab with any of them so that you can actually teach them the authentic dance hall stuff, would you do it? Well, you know, just to comment on the, on the whole... The whole scenario, you know, I was asked the question, if, um, if these dudes do this work um, and they don't credit someone, then how does that sit with you? And I was like, that's messed up. They should be credited. Right. And so it came out like, oh, these, you know, these dudes ain't doing it right. I didn't really say that. I said that, um, um, I said in Jamaica, sometimes people don't understand it. I didn't say they don't understand how to do dance hall. Oh, okay. They're doing it. Um, and, and, and whether they think it's dance hall or tropical house or whatever people want to call it um, or not, um, the, the thing is that the fans have loved it so much and the sound is out there so much that people want to even do it themselves. Right. I'm proud of that fact. Um, you know, maybe they don't do it like how I do it, but it is still... Because they're not, you know, from <laughs> Jamaica. Them can't say wagwan like you. Wagwan. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, I, it's a good thing. I mean, even remember back in the day, Ace of Bass, they're a pop group. But I saw the sign was definitely dancehall oriented. The right. bass line, the drums, um, and, and, and other songs that they've done. Um, and so I remember it being a double-sided sword too, like or a two-sided coin where it's like... We at first heard it and was like, oh, they're trying our thing. And then it went number one and we we're like, yo, they're doing our thing. So it's like, you calm down, bro. You know, it, so so the message still gets um, kind of mis misconstrued, especially like with that interview today. Like everybody's like, oh, you're going to school them. And I have worked with Major Lazer. Mm -hmm. And what I said in the interview was that I know people in Jamaica that are kind of upset with what they do. I didn't, I didn't say myself. I've worked with him. I have a song called Come On To Me. There's a video out. You can go check it out. I'm dressed up like a Japanese dude. I have a mohawk. <laughs> um, um, uh, and and um, other than that, too, I've since um, DJ Snake has a big song with, 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 with um, Justin Bieber called um, Let Me Love You. And they hit me up for the remix. Nice. So it, that's dropping later on in nice. the Christmas. So. Yeah, and so not me showing them what to do. They just came and said, yo. Just enhancing it and yeah, giving the flavor. Yeah, giving a different flavor yeah. on it. So that's what I do for couple records. Like by Lando, we did, we, we, you know, it, it, we, the song was without me at first, and then it, there's a version with me that really blew up. Uh, with Sia also, the same type of thing. So um, it's just kind of like that flavor, people might miss it. They know it's dancehall, and they're like, boy, it's missing that thing. And then they put me in. And they switch on the light. And say. <laughs> now, out of all the songs you've done, which has been a gazillion, which one is your all-time favorite? 
I can't answer that one. It's been uh, so much. It's been. I mean, one that told that you love performing. That's like your all-time favorite. That you're just that hypes you the most. There has got to be at least. I still you know, open my show with with, with um, like in the very early parts with um, I have an intro thing and then, uh, but but I open it with Get Busy. Okay. And I still close it with Temperature. Okay. Those are my most like they they went to number one. They're very still very danceable and very you know energetic. So when people hear it, so I love those two. Um, but I can't really pick a favorite song that are, you know, I, I like being in the studio. I like going there and saying, yo, let's create something new out of, out of whatever we have today. So, um, um, th that's what I like. That's the feeling I, you know, and I, and I put that feeling of the first time when I was 14, I went to a little house party and homegirl come back it up from me and I was like, yo, <laughs> and did my thing. And then, you know, it's like that feeling. I always try to, to find a rhythm that makes me feel like that. Mm -hmm. And also, um, you know, just say the things that, 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 that comes to mind when I'm thinking of that, when, what I want to say to the girl that's dancing, whatever. Like, so that's, that's, that's a lot where I come from when I'm making music, you know. Yeah. What about your videos? Because you've been all over the world making these videos. Anyone that stands out the most that you enjoyed making the most? Um, most recently, I did a song with Sack Noel, who's a, a DJ producer, and um, we did a, a video for it. It's called Trumpets. Okay. And, um, and so it has a big trumpet in this song. And um, and um, we did it in an Olympic, an old Olympic village in Barcelona. I've never wow. shot a video in Barcelona before. He just lived there, and he was like, come over and do it. We went there, but the Olympic pool is all empty now. And I used to swim. so so, And I watched those Olympics in 92, I think it was. And, and to just be there and that, and now it's all spray painted up, and it looks a lot cooler <laughs> with, with uh, you know, graffiti everywhere. And it's really run down. And so it kind of looked like an apocalyptic type of thing. <laughs> and so that was a cool video. Um, I, I remember it just because of the pool and me being a swimmer and whatnot. Yeah. So it was kind of like nostalgic for you. Yeah, and, and, and also just just weirdly um, new. I was like, I, I wish all pools would spray paint like this. Right? <laughs> Something <laughs> we should dope. think about doing. Yeah, That'd be hot. Dope. So Thanksgiving uh, next week, got any big plans? I'm actually going to be over in Dubai. Love yeah. Dubai. It, 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 it's a crazy place. And, um, uh, you know, I, I just, there's just a lot of sand there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sand, camels, and hot yeah. cars. Yeah. And, and sexy people. Yeah, sexy people. But, <laughs> but goes, sexy I was people. about, just about to say. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I'm not going to be spending Thanksgiving on this side of the earth. Okay. And um, um, there's people celebrate Thanksgiving all over, though. Um, even in Jamaica, uh, there's people like, yo, Thanksgiving dinner. What is your favorite Thanksgiving dish to eat? Um, I like the turkey, I guess, and stuffing. Yeah, the, the traditional basic. Yeah, I've stuff. from of recently, I've 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 um, started to uh, fry the whole turkey. Really? Which is so is unhealthy more, for you. It's more juicy. <laughs> it's unhealthy. It's more juicy. It might be juicy. But Say unhealthy again. Unhealthy. It's juicy. Juicy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I heard that you have some really big plans. February 2017. Yeah, I got a real important delivery. Yeah, a huge delivery, I should say. You're going to be a dad. Yeah. Congratulations. I appreciate it. Do you know what you're having yet? I'm having a little boy. <gasps> Is it going to be a oh, little... Well, my wife's having a little boy. Is it going to be a Shanapal <laughs> number two? Um, yeah, I just put it in there, but um, I, I I would hope she, that you she, did. <laughs> people, myself too. But yeah, um, yeah, it's um, uh, we don't we haven't named him yet. Uh, we're kind of going through names, and we both kind of feel that it might be like when he when he finally steps out that we're gonna be like, oh, that's you, and call him that. <laughs> he's yeah. gonna come out with braids, and he's gonna be whining like, <laughs> that's yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I do I do play him a lot of stuff from my phone because I have a lot of new music and. Uh, you know, Does uh, he get all excited in her belly? Yeah, she's, she's like, yo, he's kicking me again. And sometimes when, when I come back and, and be like, yo, what up, bro? You know, I talk to him and things. So, so let me yeah. find out he's going to be following in daddy's footsteps. Uh, anything you want to do, man. I, I, don't, I, I don't want to force him to do, you know, have to be in music if you he, if he don't want to. I mean, for sure. Well, let's take a look at what's going on. Congratulations, by the way. We can't Thank wait you. to see pictures. You better be posting them all over I Instagram will. and I stuff. I will do. We'll take a look at what's going on on our Facebook Live because a bunch of people have been commenting. Whoa. So if you'd like to take a take a look. Two new songs out. Of course, yes, we spoke about that. 
New singles are bad. Respect. Big up Virginie. <laughs> um, um, SP fam in other house, enough love. I got people on Twitter that, that them have a SP fam thing going on, so I got to big them up for I see them there. See yes. couple of them. And what is that? There was something else I had seen that was being posted. Three letters, what are they? Um, yeah, what is that? <laughs> um, that was me not liking to have to be on Twitter. Is and that you growling? I, like, yeah, kind of like, Rrr. but then it turned into real, recognized real after a while. Like, and that's so. true. Yeah, so I, I kind of, every time I'm saying something, I, I really mean it, even if it's garbage. And I will say, Rrr, at the front and Rrr, at the end. I kind of like want it to be different. I don't like the fact that everybody's like, oh, this is the new thing and ran into it. Uh, uh, and so I was just wanting to be like, I do things different. But people at first was like, you're shouting at me. <laughs> you're in all caps. I'm like, no, I'm not, bro. <laughs> like, keep, calm down. Now that you broke it down, everybody's like, oh, it's Oh, the that's earth. what it is. It's the earth. Yeah, it's so the earth. at first it was me going, mm. And then I was like, I can't be, like, I, and I really started to love Twitter and, and all of this interaction and then started to be like, really recognize real and everybody's like, oh, yeah, I get it now. Who knows? Gets it. Yeah. Well, for everyone tuning in, just let them know what your socials are so that they can get at you. Because it seems like you do um, like to respond to a lot of people, yeah. which is great. I love when artists do that. Um, on Instagram and Twitter, it's at Dottipal. That's D-U-T-T-Y-P-A-U-L. Doesn't Dotti mean dirty? Me dirty. Dirty. Dottipal. Yeah. Dotti. Dotti. Well, <laughs> See, I'm you, learning. I'm yeah, learning. Yeah, sometimes our, you know, our lingua is just a little bit different. But it would mean the same thing. It means dirty. Dirty. Um, but our my, my whole thing was about um, Dirty Cup was the crew that, that I came from. Okay. Dirty Cup. Dirty Cup. And, and so that's why I said Dirty, yeah, I'm bigging them up. Um, you know, um, it's a crew of, of dudes that used to DJ and go around and spit lyrics and, yeah. I love the accent. You could just talk to me all day long. Say cool, anything you man. want. Cool, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Sean Paul. We will thank be um, checking out your new songs that are coming out today. Can't wait. Please do. Are they up on iTunes now? Yeah, they, they're supposed to be dropped today. Uh, the two of them, the one with Tory Lanez called Take With My Heart. Take With My And Heart. the one with Dua Lipa is called No Lie. And uh, yeah, looking forward to a whole lot of new music coming pretty soon too. Well, thank you very much. And thank you guys for hanging thank out you. with us.